So again, we're running the most current release, and I'll just show you a still an outstanding issue. This was an issue in the previous version, but still, again, uh, hasn't been resolved. Let's go to our transform tools, and we've got a, a simple cylinder here. It's like a, a pipe or a tube, I should say. Well, it's not a tube, but it's a solid piece of wire. If I use the dynamic bend tools, which is here, well, let me just zoom in and pick one of these edges. I can set an angle for the bend, which is bending all the way through that object. But when I finish with the tool and press enter, it's leaving the original shape there. So it's, it's actually working, it's performing uh, the bend for me, but the original's there. Or if I go in here and adjust this angle, Yeah, that's working fine. But as I say, the issue is it's leaving the original there. And it's simply a case of selecting it and deleting it. It's no major issue. But, you know, again, shouldn't be doing that. I'll show another thing I've got here, which is, again, an, uh, an issue. If you look at the... Um, surface tools, there's the pull push tool, which is, is one, I don't know if it was in Matrix previously, it certainly was in Rhino Gold. So you select that, it prompts you for the surface if you haven't got one selected, in my case I did, and you can, um, the circle that was on that top surface can be pushed out, up, extruded outwards or inwards, so if I reduce this and drop this down, I'll create a hole in here. And if I'm happy with that, I press enter to close out of the tool. And again, look, it's leaving the original surface there, the original extrusion. So when I move that, it seems to be breaking history or something. It's uh, but I, I can delete the original shape. Let's try that again. Yeah, you can delete the original, but again, it's, you know, a bug. It's really something that hasn't been addressed yet. Let's look at another transformation, in this case, the dynamic bend tool. Again, and I'll select this object and run the tool. Let's say I want to bend this... Um, on this axis, let's bend this one up. So there's the bend. It's all fine. Let's edit the pull push. Okay. So again, it's. <laughs> supposedly a dynamic command but it's not updating um, after the bend so that's really strange it's sort of trying to alter the bent object but it's also affecting the one underneath it, the original transformation Anyway, there's a few peculiar things going on with that. Okay, that's it. Bye for now.